channel, Haley Marie Vintage. Today I have a quick, short little sewing project here for you guys. I'm doing another blouse. So I'm going to be doing advanced 6816, which is just a cute little front pleated blouse. I recently did a pleated blouse for one of my costumes for my Mad Hatter costume, which I will link here up in the eye. And I really, really thought it was so adorable. And so I wanted to try out another. I'm gonna be using this fabric. I think I thrifted this, but I'm not 100% sure. It's just this really nice, like soft shirt feeling fabric that is yellow and brown. I think it'll go well with some pieces in my wardrobe that are kind of like more pinky or red. And I don't really have anything like it in my wardrobe. So I think it'll be super fun. And I just really enjoy how this fabric feels. And I think the stripes will be cute because I can have the stripes going up and down here. Um, and then on the yoke, I can actually have them go side to side, which I think will be really fun. Uh, I love having some fun stripe combos when it comes to things. That is the plan for today. I am excited is not the right term because I don't actually really enjoy sewing blouses, but I find that the blouses I sew fit me so much better than literally anything I've ever found before. So I do do it, um, even though I'm not like stoked, but I'm really stoked at what the final product for this will be. And a blouse does usually only take me one day. We will see if that holds true in this case, but I am going to be doing this project at my parents' house. So I will catch you over there. All right, so I have laid out all of my pattern pieces for this one. It's hard to tell because the stripes are pretty subtle and the lighting here isn't great. I did put all of the stripes vertically on my body, so on my sleeves and on the bottom part and the back of this shirt, but for the yoke, I did make them horizontal so we would have some fun stripe play in this piece. I love stripes and I actually really enjoy cutting stripes for this reason. I think it's a really fun challenge. And then here I am just marking all of my pieces. This is never really my favorite thing to do. However, one of the reasons I prefer unprinted patterns is they leave holes. So a lot of times you can just mark through with, with your marker, which is perfect for me. And then here I am doing the pin tucking. This is a really easy pin tuck actually because they're all pretty thick. And because they are on a vertical stripe, I can just sort of eyeball them after I pin the first section because obviously they should follow the stripes up and down if I've cut it correctly. I didn't 100% cut it correctly, so I had to rig it a little bit, but it's fine. I'm just pinning these up and then getting ready to sew them. And then here I am, I'm doing kind of all of my prep sewing, as I like to call it, which is sewing things like facings together, collars together, and kind of all those individual units because this is a pretty simple project. I don't go unit by unit and I kind of work on all units simultaneously. So I'm just doing work like that. And then of course I am sewing my pin tucks in as well here. So all those things that you just saw, I am now pressing them. Um, the pin tucks is obviously the most satisfying part, but I do also really love pressing a collar. There's nothing really big to note here or anything special I'm doing. I do want to note, however, right now that this is a kind of bonus video. I put up two big videos. Uh, one last Friday and one on Monday, and this one was just a little bit easier. And this one I actually filmed back over Thanksgiving, which is why I'm back at my parents' house for it. So I'm just getting kind of a little break, but I still wanted you guys to have some content to enjoy. Here we are working on the sleeves. It's kind of hard to tell what this is, but there's like the... This one actually came with a pattern piece for the facing for the part of the sleeve that when you unbutton, it like is a slash up into the wrist area to make it easier to get your blouse on and off. I just thought it was interesting that this one came with its specific pattern piece. And so that is just what I am showing here. And now that I have that done, I am prepping to do the whole sleeve. This pattern actually did not have you doing that bit before, but I find it easier to do with the sleeve flat than with it folded. Here I am sewing on the yoke. I lied earlier, this is actually just a like straightforward seam and is not a like folded down and top stitched seam quite yet. After I fold this and then press it, I will then be top stitching over it. Here I am gathering the wrist part of the sleeve into the cuff, nothing too complicated about this, just trying to get gathers even. Here I'm just pinking all of my edges to finish them so that way I can then press them open to then put together the folded narrow hem. Here I am just cruising along on sewing this shirt. So I'm just doing a hem. So that hem that I double folded in the previous clip, I am now 
just running through the machine. I actually don't go very fast at this because I'm not the best at it, so I have to watch it to keep it pretty straight and not like go too off course. I am just stitching in the collar. This one was pretty easy because there wasn't too much curving. And then last of course is the sleeve of the cuff. This one isn't hard, it's just a little bit fiddly. Now we are gathering the sleeves to set them in. This is about the last step we'll do on the machine. So we're getting pretty close now. And then here we are just hand stitching all of the details to wrap this up. This is the facing that I'm stitching right now. And then we are ready for the reveal. I actually ended up liking this a lot more than I thought I would, so enjoy. All right, you have seen the reveal. I am refilming this outro because I had already filmed it and I didn't hit record on my mic and I was like, it'll be fine and I could not stand the audio, so we are refilming it. So let's talk about this blouse. So I actually think I'm starting to enjoy making blouses again. I mean, not again, I never enjoyed making blouses before this, but now I think I enjoy making blouses. So the main issue I have with this blouse is I sewed the buttonholes on backwards, so the buttons end up facing behind me instead of in front of me. The reason I think I'm liking making blouses more than I used to is I just really like the way this one fits and the way the one I made for my Mad Hatter costume fit. I just so rarely find something that fits in my shoulders the exact way I want that's kind of like an all-purpose plain button up. I can definitely tell you I'll be making this pattern again in both the short sleeve and the long sleeve version. I think I'll do some plainer fabrics. This was the perfect first try fabric just because I didn't care that much about this fabric. Brown and yellow are not my usual colors, so I felt like this was fairly low stakes because they aren't my usual colors. However, I do really, really love this blouse and I think it looks really nice. Uh, it's finished with pink, pink seams on the inside. Um, I really like, I think these are actually 1940s buttons that I used on it. But yeah, I just, I like this more than I thought. And this was a pretty non-momentous blouse making. This was pretty fast. I did get it done all in one day, cutting to sewing the whole shebang one day, which is great. And another reason I think you'll be seeing me make this blouse again and again and again on this channel is just because I enjoy that so much. I don't think I'll make another video of me making this blouse, but I think you'll see them in me showing things that I sewn off camera type videos. I really like the like open darts where it kind of just like ends and it's not like a point. Yeah, I think the stripes here are super fun. I super love this blouse. I also really like this fabric. I wish I knew what it was called because it doesn't wrinkle that easily and it's super soft, but it is still definitely all cotton. So I think it might just be a shirting fabric, so I'll need to experiment with like getting some swatches from a place like Mood to see if I'm correct in my hunch. I think that is it for this video. Uh, this is kind of a bonus video, even though it is on Friday. I did a double posting last Friday and then on Monday of two really, really big makes. So I actually used the, this footage. It was all the way from back in November of me making this blouse. I kind of had it on backup for a week where I just kind of needed a break. And uh, because of those two big posts, I decided to use it this week. So yes, this is a little bit bonus content. And definitely check out those last two makes. They are both part of collaborations and super, super awesome. That is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, I would love it if you would buy me a coffee over on Ko-Fi. I will have that linked down below. I pour a lot of love and time into this channel. And then of course, there are free ways to support my channel like you guys do already by commenting, liking, and subscribing. It really helps me out. And you can also follow me over on TikTok and Instagram, which I will have both linked down below. I hope I will see you next time. Bye.